Who would win a fight between a chimpanzee and a leopard? Only a few individuals have ever seen what happens when chimps and leopards meet together in the African jungle. Chimps, like humans, are highly social animals who care for their young for years and can live to be over 50 years old. In fact, chimpanzees are our closest cousins. We share about 98% of our genes. Leopards are big cats known for their golden spotted bodies and graceful yet ferocious hunting techniques. They are often thought of as an African animal, but leopards live all over the world. Though their reach is vast, their numbers are declining. Range and Habitat Chimpanzees used to be found all over equatorial Africa from east to west. They now have a patchy range extending from southern Senegal to western Tanzania and Uganda. Chimpanzees continue to have the most diverse geographic distribution of any great ape. Despite the fact that chimps are found in more than 20 African countries, only Gabon, the Central African Republic, the Republic of Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Cameroon have significant populations. The tropical rainforest is their natural environment. They can also be found in arid environments like woodland, savanna, or farmland. The leopard is extremely adaptable and can live in a variety of environments around the world. Leopards can be found in sub-Saharan Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, southern and eastern Turkey, southwest Asia's Sinai Judean Desert, the Himalayan foothills, India, Russia, China, and the Indonesian and Sri Lankan islands. Rainforests, deserts, woodlands, grassland savannas, forests, mountain environments, coastal scrubs, shrublands, and swampy places are all possible habitats for these large cats. Leopards are found in more locations than any other large cat. Behavior Chimpanzees are social, intelligent, curious, and vocal animals. Chimpanzees live in loose communities of 10 to more than 100 individuals. They have complex behavior patterns, many of which are learned, and they can solve problems, plan for future events, and make and use tools. They've even been observed using medicinal herbs to treat various ailments. Chimps touch each other a great deal and may kiss when they meet. They also hold hands and groom each other. Social grooming is an important social activity in their societies. Not only does grooming help remove ticks, dirt, and flakes of dead skin from the hair, but it also helps establish and maintain social bonds. Pound for pound, the leopard is the strongest climber of all the big cats. Even stronger climbing muscles have unique attachment sites on their shoulder blades. They spend much of their time in trees, even when stalking prey and eating. They are mostly nocturnal and solitary creatures, but each has a home range that overlaps with its neighbors. Males have a bigger range than females, and a single male's range frequently overlaps the ranges of multiple females. Diet Chimpanzees feed on fruits as well as leaves, buds, and blossoms after descending from their night nests in the trees. Their feeding becomes pickier after a period, and they will select the ripest fruit. They select fruit with their hands most of the time, although they take berries and seeds right off the stem with their lips. They eat up to 80 different plant foods and spend six to eight hours every day foraging for food. They will occasionally consume meat, such as juvenile antelope or goats, to supplement their diets. Other primates, such as young baboons, colobus monkeys, and blue monkeys, are their most common victims. Leopards are carnivores, but they aren't picky eaters. Thompson's gazelles, cheetah cubs, baboons, rodents, monkeys, snakes, large birds, 
Amphibians, fish, antelopes, warthogs, and porcupines are among the animals they will prey on. Leopards are ambush predators, meaning they crouch low to approach their victim and pounce before it can react. A leopard will kill its prey by biting its neck and breaking it. Size and Description It is thought that humans and chimps evolved from a common ancestor who lived 4 to 8 million years ago. Males weigh 61 to 154 pounds, 28 to 70 kilograms, and females 44 to 110 pounds, 20 to 50 kilograms. When standing upright, they are about 2.3 to 3.3 feet, 0.7 to 1 meter tall. Chimps walk on the knuckles of their hands and the soles of their feet because their arms are longer than their legs. They can, however, stand and walk for more than one kilometer on their back legs, 0.62 miles. They may use their hands as hooks when swinging from branch to branch and grasping objects since their fingers and toes are lengthy and have opposable thumbs. The majority of the body is covered with brown to black hair. The skin on the face, ears, palms, and soles is bare and varies in color from pink to black. They have prominent ears and mouths, and their chins may have whiskers. The leopard is a member of the cat family, so imagine a large, smooth-haired domestic cat with spots for an idea of what a leopard looks like. The coat's background color is tan, which can range from very pale to quite dark. Black spots cover the head, neck, and legs, with more detailed markings termed rosettes on the entire body. White with black dots covers the leopard's underbelly. The long tail has rosettes on top and is white underneath. Leopards have unique markings and colors. In fact, leopard spots are as unique as human fingerprints. Other distinguishing features of this spectacular cat are the large head, powerful neck and shoulders, and short muscular limbs. They grow to only 3 to 6 point feet, 0.9 to 1.9 meters long. Their tail adds another 25 to 39 inches, 64 to 99 centimeters to their length. Females typically weigh 46 to 132 pounds, 21 to 60 kilograms, and males usually weigh around 80 to 165 pounds, 36 to 75 kilograms. Now, in a one-on-one -on -one battle between a chimpanzee and a leopard, who would win? Chimpanzees are near the top of the food chain. They don't have a whole lot of natural predators. Predation on chimps is most common among the young, old, and sick who are most vulnerable. Leopards, like all felines in general, and big cats in particular, are extremely powerful animals that have been bioengineered to be far more powerful than the majority of the prey they hunt. Anyway, leopards are stronger than chimps. Chimps are stronger than humans, but leopards are stronger than chimps. Chimpanzees can jump 0.7 meters high, according to a 2006 research. A leopard, on the other hand, can leap 3 meters. A leopard can carry up to three times its body weight in prey up a tree. Chimpanzees don't have feats of strength that are equal to this. Leopards, on the other hand, are known to eat chimps, as evidenced by leopard poo studies containing chimp body parts. The problem is that chimps hunt in packs and will form raiding parties to chase down a leopard, but a leopard will simply strike in the middle of the night to take an unlucky chimp for food. But chimps attacking leopards is a very rare occurrence, and they can only do it because they are working as a group against the solitary leopard. A leopard is significantly more likely to ambush and capture a stray chimp and bring it home for dinner. Leopards had also better teeth and sharper claws and more predatory skills. I think it would win. The leopard is not stupid. It's not going to attack a chimp in the presence of a group of chimps and chimps are not loners. 
Although the troop will organize to scare a leopard away, if an isolated chimp does not notice a leopard sneaking up on it, the leopard can grab the chimp in its jaws and run away with it to feed. The leopard prefers to grab the chimp from behind, sinking its upper teeth into the eye sockets and lower fangs into the back of the skull, keeping the chimp's fangs and resisting out of play. The leopards are probably the chimpanzee's greatest enemy. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, the chimpanzees will definitely not be able to win. The leopard is clearly stronger and bigger. However, in this fight in the wild, the chimpanzee has the advantage of his brothers. So probably if there were more, they could win. But in a one-on-one -on -one fight, the leopard wins. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.